the sort of uh, Greek yogurts and nut butters are, especially the nut butters, they're, they're trivia foods for me. So if I eat nut butters, I, I tend to, I find it easier to, to slip, you know, fall off the rails a little bit. Um, and research into that has, has led me to come to uh, the lectins in nuts and nut butters. Um, so lectins can uh, act in the same way that insulin does. They bind to insulin receptors and can cause us to gain weight, which is one of the reasons that people may stall living a keto lifestyle through eating too much nuts and nut butters. I didn't know that. That's yeah. so interesting. But I knew that I thought the reason why you gained weight if you ate too many nut butters is because they're so addictive. Yeah, it is. And then, <laughs> so you and this, and this, and this you, you, you don't realize on. it's very difficult to know how much you're eating. It is, it is, yeah. and, and they're very Moorish, and you've hit the nail right on the head there, because um, these are trigger foods for me, uh, and what I, what I found is that um, they block leptin, which is a satiety hormone. Um, so not only are we uh, putting lectins in, which are sort of acting in the ways that uh, the insulin would and, and cause us to store fat, but it's stopping us from feeling full, so we eat more. So this, this handful of nuts that we think we're going to start with it ends up into a big bag of... You know, I'm, I'm not, and unfortunately, that, that's, that's the way it is with, with nuts and, and nut butter to me, which, which isn't an issue if I'm going through a bulking phase. Um, but certainly coming into cutting, they, they are the first things that I take out, you know.